Hi, Kalpun Piso here. Well, it is a fact that, really, that we create everything with our brains. Believe in God. There is no God. Sorry. But we have the slaves of Jesus. And uh, I guess tomorrow is Good Friday. You know, I know the truth about Good Friday and about Jesus. But you must believe and have faith, the faith in Jesus Christ that, that gave his life to save you from your sins. So, put your faith where your mouth is. This is what true Christians do on Good Friday. So you must do the same thing, otherwise everybody was going to think that you're not a true Christian or a hypocrite. But this is what you do. You have to repent and suffer for your Christ. Especially if you are slaves. They are known as the flagellants. <laughs> Fanatics who think they can win God's mercy by imitating Christ's Idiot. passion. Instead of, you know, no science, completely retarded. I know I think that we create God and all those delusions with our brains. I do that. So I know that people that believe in God are psychotic and do this stuff. But you don't. You do believe. And Jesus is real for you. So you must do this. You must express yourself. You must express Remember, yourself. Remember, on Good Friday, you cannot be fun and just sitting in your couch watching TV. No, you have to suffer. You have to All suffer. All with blood. Blood saves. It's come from the Middle Ages. Taken from the Roman uh, pagan religion. So the Lubricalia. That means when you touch somebody like that, it's, it's given flagellation to, to ladies for, for fertility symbols. Not drawing blood like that. But that's where they got it from. They're in Spain all the time. And in every country infected with Christ psychosis, they do this. And these are not Muslims. Again, these are Christians. True Christians. Yes, you must do penance on Good Friday. Do what the Catholics do here. That is Catholics walking on their knees. That's a schizotypal disorder. Sorry, people. That's insanity right there. Now, on Good Friday, no if you're truly a Christian, you truly believe, show your faith. Do this little crucifixion. In this Do this one little town, crucifixion. Eight men, including Reuben. Including Reuben. If you're a coward and you don't want to do this because you really truly do, do not believe, you could be like me, mentally healthy. And uh, in other words, an atheist. And uh, I know exactly what the whole thing came, out, came from, uh, where all this blood sacrifice came from, and who uh, your savior was. Uh, your savior was. The day of blood, the Sanguinis, Good Friday, originated with the sacrifice of the Lord and Savior. Julius Christ. And believe me, I'm a member of the Archaeology Society, so I don't accept any bullshit as true. And also read this, my namesake, father-in-law of the god Julius Caesar. Read this book. It's all reality based in history, no bullshit. The god Caesar was great. He forgave the enemies with his clemential societies. You want to give... Uh, he uh, made a lot of the tribes and barbarians and all of the Gaul senators in Rome. Which, in other words, the senator of Rome hated him, and that's the reason they end up killing him. Angry with your Gauls and your Celts and your plebs and such. That's a W guard. That's what I told him. Will you listen? Guards can keep my enemies away. They can do nothing about my friends. Here you see Marcus Antonius. And he was not just his general, commander. He was a priest and also the priest of Julius Caesar that was a god. Caesar that was a god. No offense to you, Ferenus. I do not wish to jump in any arenas, Cicero. I must please the people in some other fashion. Build yet another temple. Kill someone. God, Caesar Christ, was very devoted to the people and he was always building temples, especially to Venus, his mother. <laughs> God Caesar was attending a Senate meeting at the Theater of Pompeii. In other words, by the way, the Largo Argentina temples are. Not in the Senate, per se, because it was being repaired by fire. Here I am at the ruins of those temples. Pantheon, too. 
uh, renovated to uh, it's called Lago Argentina, and it's uh, dedicated to the guys of the dedicated to the guys of the. We are right in here. Taking the picture from here down this way. These are the ruins of the temple. Caesar. This is the complex of the theater of Pompeii with the temple of Venus Genetrix, the mother of Caesar. The Senate was meeting here and he was killed in this area here, was sacrificed. The reconstruction of the temp of the theater of Pompeii. Uh, and notice on the right the temple of Venus Victrix in that area is where uh, Caesar was killed. The view from above and you can see right here the temple of Venus Victrix and this is Lago Argentina. There is some circumstantial evidence that actually Julius Caesar knew about the plot and uh, he committed suicide by cop. In other words, he just missed his guards, very strange, and uh, uh, he, uh, because he suffered from uh, diarrhea and epilepsy, he was getting old and all that. And also, interesting, the conspirators, this, uh, they distracted Mark Antony, as you can see here, and he wasn't there, and, uh, this, and he denied knowing uh, Julius, Caesar, uh, Julius Caesar after the melee. That he became Simon Peter later on, 300 years later in the Gospel. Or the guy Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, hero of the melee and all the confusion, he started denying he disguised himself and he took off. And uh, it is actually a fact. And it is recorded Julius Caesar says, Nothing. He went, ugh. Oh. Very accurate in the HBO series Rome. I believe the lucky appearance of this comet is what made Caesar a god. The comet that appeared in July of the same year, 44 uh, BCE, confirmed the divinity and resurrection of Julius Caesar. Amazing. The son of God, his heir, Octavius Caesar, took advantage of the situation and started issuing coins with the star. The coming of Caesar, the passion of Jesus Christ was born. Here is a coin showing the angel representing victory, taking the soul of Caesar to heaven. There's another coin of Caesar. Coins don't lie. And uh, you can see that. Also the star of Caesar on a coin. And they were all over the empire, including Jerusalem. And here you see them too with the crown of thorns. And even in the temple in Jerusalem, 120, look at the star. And here is Hadrian resurrecting the dead and also Sabina being carried by an angel in apotheosis. And here going to heaven, Antoninus Pius. Here Antoninus Pius with an angel and the... 1700 years of the church, the Christian, the creator of the Christian church, conditioning, education, controlling the countries, establishing laws and everything. That has made people blind, including scholars. You have Brigham Young University, you have Bob Jones University, you have all these retarded universities, these people they don't know, have no, no business. They cannot tell fantasy from reality and they do believe in Jesus. Even some archaeologists do, some historians, they're still looking for Noah's Ark. They don't see, they're blind because they don't make the connections. They concentrate only one subject. Concentrate only the one reason subject. there is no archaeological record of a, of a Jesus or a Solomon temple. As you can see in those coins, the Roman Empire was immense, and uh, all the emperors since uh, uh, Julius Caesar Christ and then Augustus, the son of God, uh, started adopting the religion of, uh, in all the temples throughout the empire, including Jerusalem. And that is, you see, the star of, uh, of Caesar all over the temples, in Jerusalem. and. Uh, Caesar Christ, and then of course Augustus, the son of God, had mutated, identified with the other gods, the local gods, everywhere. Especially with Apollo, with Yahweh, with Jupiter. So he disguised himself into all these temples. So the Jews and the Arabs and the Christians are worshipping Julius Caesar under different forms, manifestations, which is laughable. <laughs> so, hey, enjoy Good Friday and the resurrection of uh, Julius Caesar.